Hi, Gustus. Oh, 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 it's, it's just you, Missy. Sorry about that. Were you expecting someone else? Uh, no, no. Not, not nothing. Nope. Are you ready to film this last episode? Yep. Let's go do it. Okay, Gustus, this is our last episode of Gardener Gus the documentary. Is there anything else you would like to share with us about gardening? Well, it's the moment we've all been weeding for. The gathering of the greens. The reaping of the radishes. Collecting cucumbers. Picking peppers. Taking tomatoes. Yielding the yams. All right, thank you for that. Uh, yeah, harvesting is definitely part of the planting process. I forgot about that part. Yeah. You sweat, you bet your sweet peas, veggies and fruits to your knees, as rap as you please. Of course, the lion's share of the harvest arrives from the fruit of the fall foliage. You know what month it is, don't you, Missy? Uh, yeah, it's May, August. Almost, but not quite there yet. We'll get there, but you're right. It's the month of the May. The month of the maybe, maybe you'll get a good harvest, but only if you dig deep. Seed, water, and weed. You won't harvest a cauliflower picking thing if you don't plant any cauliflower, but the harvest is the best part. How do you know when to harvest and how long does it normally take? Well, you can't rush a good thing. Maturity takes time. Or, if you prefer some alliteration, heap and harvest don't happen haphazardly, only after hard work. Ugh. A good gardener knows when the crop is ready to be picked when it's reached the proper color, size, and texture. This here's my yellow hat, cause you gotta have sunshine to have a good garden. While this uh, puppy here's my blue hat, you gotta have water too. And this last hat here, this is my hat for the, from the good people of Grace Luther Church who graciously allow me to use their garden. You have to wait a long time before harvesting. Was all the waiting worth it when you eventually do harvest? Planner Paul says, the one who sows to his own flesh will from the flesh reap corruption, but the one who sows to the Spirit will from the Spirit reap eternal life. And let us not grow weary in doing good, for in due season we will reap if we do not give up. You've heard the old saying like peas and carrots, which means if you plant peas, don't expect carrots. Paul was explaining how commitment to Christ on earth grows into a heavenly harvest, but it also applies to gardens. Don't grow weary of growing good because good greens come to those who wait. Well, thanks to Gus, I mean Gus. Yeah, we go. appreciate you taking the time for this documentary. It really was a pleasure. Uh, hey. Hey, what's that guy doing in my gut? Hey, Come you. back anytime you put. Uh oh. Get out of there! Here comes that no good carpet bag and city slicking pastor. You might want to skedaddle, Missy. I gotta make like an onion and peel out. <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you? That's the third time this week. Do you need me to, do, you want, do we need to redo it? Show some of the footage from last week. 
yeah, I, I'm talking about, one thing I didn't mention was sometimes when you got a lot of weed or some of them big suckers, you gotta call in the big guns and get some help. You know, maybe we could use some of our footage from last week. You're not gonna be looking at Where do you want me to, over there? Yeah. Taking the tomatoes. I forgot we didn't want to look oh, down. sorry, sorry. You're supposed to be interrupting me. I'm oh, sorry, I thought you were gonna say you only have a Oh, okay, do you want me to do it again? I can do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... I was trying to do it from memory. You won't pick a color, you won't have a cauliflower picking thing unless you, if you don't, should I just start over? Planter Paul says, the one who sows to reap from his... I didn't write that one. I changed it when I was talking. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Wait, can you do that again? <laughs> Ready. What a man got to say. What a man got to pray. Woo! There's a lot of kale. Like the good Lord said, the harvest is plentiful, but the gardeners are few. Did you get your Mother's Day present yet? <laughs> <laughs> 